Now, if you guys recall a few months back, we actually did an Amazon mod video where we discovered a bunch of new products for our JL Wrangler. Now, a cool thing that we discovered was this product by Azudo, which is the Jeep JL and Gladiator front door cup holder. Fast forward a few weeks later, Ty from Azudo actually reached out to us and said, hey guys, saw your video, loved what you did with our products. Do you think we could work something out where we send you the rest of our lineup? But we like to do a little bit of research into the companies before we present them onto our channel. That's a big thing for us. Once Ty gave us the backstory, this company is based in Japan. And the neat thing is, is they've been around since the 1950s. So this isn't just a fly by night, cheap little company that is producing products. They've been around since the 50s. Azudo also didn't go crazy and drop a hundred different SKU numbers that fix every little problem or add every little piece on the inside. They've kind of chosen to really design five or six. They're working on a couple new products that they're really honed into what the Jeep owner needs. So we're gonna go through all five of these. We're gonna do a quick install of them onto my 2022 and just check them out. So let's kind of start with this first one on the outside, the Jeep JL and Gladiator keyhole covers. Now I'm only gonna be able to use two of these because only my front doors have the keyholes, my back gate does not. But let's unbox this quick here and we'll just check it out. All right, so we've got three in here. <laughs> Look at that, guys. You probably can't tell on camera, but this is like almost identical to the fuel door. And I actually have a fuel door on here. So let's let's show you what it looks like here. <laughs> Ryan, I don't know if you want to get a close shot of that, but it is like super accurate to this fuel door here. It's just about identical, I would say. Yeah. So it does really match with the flow of this Jeep, but there are three in here. So you're going to have three on the inside of here. One, two, three. The small one is for the back gate. And then these two right here are gonna be for your front doors. So this one is gonna be an extremely easy installation on here. All you wanna do is kind of match up the way that the fuel door in the back opens, which looks like this here. So this side will be kind of facing towards the back of the vehicle. On the inside, there's a silicone sheet as well as the magnet in there. So the silicone sheet keeps it from moving it around and the magnet will actually keep it in place. So we're just gonna go ahead and cover that. And it's just that easy, guys. The nice thing with these, I will say in the winter time, if you actually do have to use your key, say your door's like frozen shut, you can just pop this right off, use the keyhole and then cover it back up. So it's also gonna keep a lot of mud, a lot of debris out of here. When you are just daily driving salt, nothing's gonna get into the keyhole. And secondly, it deletes all the chrome. I mean, I'm a big, I don't know, deleter of chrome fan. I don't know how you wanna word that, but I like to pull all the chrome off. So that looks really clean on there. And it honestly, it perfectly matches the back fuel door. All right, guys, so next product is actually gonna be the Jeep Wrangler. This is specific to the JL with a hardtop, rear defogger covers. So this is a nice little product here that's actually gonna cover up the kind of unsightly wiring up here. And if you guys know, these actually tend to break off. So maybe this is gonna give it a little bit more kind of security as well as just a little bit more coverage for the back. So you are gonna get left and right sides. Now these simply will just stick on. They actually have just a border around the outside. And if you look on the inside of the product, they will have an L or an R. So left is the left-hand side, driver's side, R, right-hand or passenger side. These look super simple to install here. So we're gonna get the driver's side on first. I'm gonna go grab a little isopropyl alcohol and just clean kind of the surface. Once you stick it on, it even says in the instructions here that the strongest kind of hold with that adhesive is after 24 hours. So give it 24 hours before you start rooching around on it and maybe just let it sit. And the second thing, they also say don't do it while the window is closed. So they said open it like this. So we just got this cleaned up with the isopropyl alcohol. Now on the driver's side, this notch out will actually cover the hard plastic that runs your wiper cables through it. And then the actual wiper wires will go through this cutout. So you're just gonna kind of line this up just like so, I'm gonna try and match that with this area, line it up straight like this, and then let's pull the adhesive off, but that's how it's gonna look. Just like that. And now when you're doing this, just wanna line it up the right way. So I'm gonna tuck that cord through first, kind of get this close to where it needs to be here. And that's, uh, that looks good to me, yeah. Give it a good firm push without shattering the entire back window glass. And we're just gonna push all along the edge here. So there you have it. First side done. That looks a lot better. What do you think, Ryan? I think it looks clean. Yeah. It, it covers this, covers I mean, up this. It's, it covers up that as well as that, uh, the, the, so the actual mount there, Ryan just asked me, these are all the defroster lines for your back window. The mount that clicks it in here and actually gives it the heat, that kind of looks unsightly. We have to cover that up and this is a way to do it. This looks good. It almost looks like it should be factory. So on the passenger side, what's nice is you actually, you do have to unclip this wire out of that small clip there. What I just noticed when I flipped this around, there's actually a clip right here for it. So when we go to install that, we're just simply gonna click this onto here 
just like so, and then it's gonna pop out the end, and it'll sit just like that. So the reason you're also, you have to do that is so that way this can move a little bit. So this can actually rotate and that's gonna allow it to sit in there nicely. So now that that's clipped in, now the moment of truth. Let's get it lined up, give it a good push all around the border there. Remember, we did clean it off with isopropyl alcohol so it's nice and clean. Give it a good stick there. And then they said, just push any excess in there if you want, but there you go. Nice, good push around the edge. This looks really clean. Well, there you guys have it. Both of those are mounted up. I personally, I really like the look. It cleans it up on the back end here, but we do have one more part to put on and that's gonna be in this center section right here. So the next one here is what we were just talking about, the rear window handle. So like I said, this is gonna replace that handle or that just blank section here. I've seen a couple versions of this, some that have lights, but I've never seen one that actually has a built-in handle. This is gonna be really important when you lift your Jeep up on 40s and you need kind of that extra little bit of grab here. So let's unbox it because Truth be told, I already did pull it out and I thought it was pretty neat. But let's go ahead and pull this out. The one thing I really like too, guys, is the packaging on here. It, it's very nice. It's really well put together. So here is the actual piece. And then what I really like is they take it a step further, give you instructions, and then they give you the Allen key too to pull it off. So a lot of people sometimes, if you don't have any tools, maybe you're in an apartment where you don't have your full toolbox, you're easily able to still get this done. So let's pull the Allen key out. Right there it is, because this is probably gonna be the easiest install of the day besides the stick-on components. So here's gonna be your cover. Now at first you're looking at it and you're like, hey, this, uh, this handle doesn't look like it's gonna be too big, I can't even get my hands in there. But the neat thing is, it actually extends out. So if you guys just saw that, this probably inch here pulls out of there, so that way it does form a nice looking handle here. And then when you're done with it, just tuck it like that. I really, really like that. And you can tell that Azuda thought about that to make it look good and not just have one of those, you guys have all seen the grab handles where they just hang here and they flop. This is not gonna move. And then when it's in, it's gonna tuck flush. I couldn't imagine listening to this flopping around, especially where it sits when it's closed. This would hang down if it was a loose handle and just click and knock. So guys, just go ahead and use your Allen key to loosen these up. You're gonna save these screws cause you're gonna reinstall them on the new cover, but they'll just pull out like that. So there's one. A little bit tricky trying to show you guys because it's a it's a reach up here i'll be glad to have that handle yeah the other thing is guys ryan brought up um if you if this is beat up in the back here it's a good time to replace it too and then actually get some utilitarian purpose instead of just buying a stock one so there we go let's pull this off i've never actually pulled one of these off so i wonder what mysteries are behind there oh there's your wiper motor we're gonna set it up into place there we go now i can see Making sure the notch out for the actual wiper wiring is towards the towards this side up here. It's pretty. This one's pretty self-explanatory, guys. I won't I won't sugarcoat it to you. It's uh it's pretty simple. There you have it, guys. You don't have to go crazy tightening them up. Once again, it's just holding up that plastic piece. But there you go. I mean, this is already easier for me to reach. But then when I give it a pull, check that out. That's cool. Now I can just grab onto this and. Pull it right on down. There's an action shot for you. The thing I do like about these products is that they don't look aftermarket. I mean, if you look at these three parts in conjunction back here, and you just took a quick glance at the Jeep, you're not gonna think that anything back here is different until you're actually like, wow, that's a really good idea. I can just pull that down here. But the molding, everything is so similar. Look at this, guys. I mean, that's the stock one here. Even the same lines running through it, everything just works. Go ahead and grab it, pull the handle out, close it, and then even while it's in there, I can just close it back into the rested position. Guys, here is one that really started it for us here. The passenger and driver side cup holders that go onto the door. My dad has had the one for the driver side on his Jeep since we installed it a few months back and he absolutely loves it. Some big features on this is that it is able to hold a large size drink. It gets you up nice and close to where you're actually driving, where you're sitting and where your hands can easily reach it. And then on the inside, it matches that inside pattern of the rest of the Jeep. The cool thing is also is that you can remove this in case you need to rinse it out. You get some water droppings in there or some, some dirt and debris, and then you just slide it back in and it sets into place. You do have some little rubber nibs at three areas here that'll be able to securely hold your drink. All right guys, so all you wanna do is rub this section where it sits with the isopropyl alcohol, peel off the backing here, just like that. And then once you have the backing off, you're gonna line this front section up and just give it a nice firm 
push down. This is gonna be extremely solid, hold all of the drinks in there. And honestly, I just think it looks great. Even with the door closed, it'll clear everything on the inside and it's kind of nice and out of the way. You still have full access to here. The window can still go up and everything. And this is a great mod for both driver and passenger. All right, guys, the next one here is gonna be for the Gladiator and the Wrangler. And it's a set of map lights that actually go right above where your rear view mirror is. From the photo here, it looks like it's also gonna work with if you have adaptive cruise control. These haven't been tried yet on the 2024. I think theirs is a little bit different up there, but this will work for the 2018 to the 2023. Now let's pop this out because I was excited to see this one. I kept seeing it pop up as an ad online. You can tell how much I do my online shopping, but let's pull this out. All right, we got everything out. I'm gonna throw that right by your feet, Ryan. Okay, we got some Panasonic batteries already. That's actually neat. They're completely in Japanese. Check that out. That's really cool. Panasonic makes great products too. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. It feels like really quality already. Okay. All right. All right, there's All right. your three. All right, okay. All right, okay. I like it. Let's see, how does it mount? Does it mount like that? Yeah, just like that. I'm sure you, do you put, yeah, you push them. Oh, it's got a nice click. Click, feel that little click, just a little That's, click. Yeah, I'll be playing with that on the road. Yeah, on, off, on, off, <laughs> on, off. All right, guys, so you do need to add three N. N is in Nancy size batteries into here. So you pull off one Phillips head screw in the center here, set the cover plate aside. Do not drop it down the entirety of your vehicle. And then we're gonna grab these batteries that are included out of here. So let's throw this. This is alkaline batteries only. All right. Those are all installed. Let's go ahead and we'll try one light. Do you see it like, it like, it, it like gradually came on. Watch. It like, all, like see the dimming? Wow, that's like. That's like factory. That's like fancy Look at that. Hotel. Yeah. That's really neat. And then watch when I click them off. Uh, that like, looks factory. Uh, that looks good. I mean, yeah. like, that's how a factory, like... So I can't like, just click it on and off like I was planning. To. No, it won't be on, off, on, off. It'll oh, be like, yeah, like nice boom, dim. nice transition. Okay, let's uh, cover this up, and I'm very, I'm pumped. It's stuff like this that you wouldn't have thought of. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the biggest thing with the interior mods here, guys. This is, like, something I never would have thought of as, like, a cool add-on, but it is beefy. Like, the product does have some weight to it. It's got 3M, 3M name brand backed adhesive here and then it does have this little safety strap which you can loop around here and it is recommended so if you listen to the instructions and uh and want to do that it is recommended you run this through here and and get it to wrap around the windshield i actually want to adjust this because i don't think this clicked in right i just want to make sure it's sealed there we go okay that's one thing guys if you're screwing this in make sure that this back plate sits in right clean that off clean this center section off and then clean this off. Now this one actually came with the isopropyl alcohol too. So if you don't have any, don't worry, don't fret. It came with it. Give it a nice clean, let it dry for just a few seconds. I sound like Bob Ross doing a painting. <laughs> just put a little, nice little. Um, and then what you want to do, so when you're holding this up here like this, this line here on the battery box should line up with the back end of your airbag kind of on off there. So you're going to line it up just like this and it'll just barely touch it. And then you'll even it out left to right around the microphone. It always fights with me. It's like trying to put a USB port in the right way the first time. And you could probably, I'd imagine if you wanted to like permanently fix this on here with like a screw, but the whole point of this is if you ever trade your Jeep in and say you get a new one, you can add this back on then. Give it a good stick. And once again, the same rules apply for this. Give it 24 hours. Don't be hee-hawing around and ripping this apart. But we're gonna give it a firm push. That's really the most important with this right away. And I would push, don't, don't go crazy. You don't wanna crack the plastic. But there you guys have it. Let's peel this off. That's the best part of these, isn't it? Look at that. Clean. Let's put these at, look at that. That looks like, I don't know, like everything we've installed here, Ryan, with a Zudo, it looks like it could be there. We have a map that we can demonstrate. A map? An I have map. like an 1890s map in my basement we could read. <laughs> but check that out. Boom. Boom. I just like how it fades. The ambiance. Yeah, yeah, ambiance. And I'd imagine with three end size batteries in here, you guys aren't going to be using this all yeah, the time. it's not going to run so out too quick. So in order to like make it a simple install, I wouldn't, I mean, what are you going to do, hardwire it? 
that's one thing. I probably would never hardwire this down to the battery or anything. Mm -hmm. You just have this and, okay, I'm done. You're not going to be using it all the time. That, that on and off feature cool. is so cool. That's where you can tell the quality that is at the next level. But this is going to work with your adaptive cruise control. It looks clean. It doesn't hang down really any lower than these uh, their, your visors here. You still have full access up above here. It looks great. I like it. I'm happy with that one. Mm -hmm. this, one will, this one will definitely be on the Jeep for a long time. I think it looks just super clean too. So what if the batteries do run out? Just for you just have the, out. So if the batteries run out, guys, the screw is right here. So you would just pull this cap down, replace them with three end size batteries, and Dumb. you're back in business. That's kind of what I like. I wouldn't want to hardwire this. Because, I mean, in reality, if you have this light on, okay, I'm going to read a little bit here, or I'm going to... Even for us on long trips when we have our drinks in that in the center console, just turn this on. Maybe you have to check something in your in your uh, tech bag. Turn it off and you're done. I like that. It's not going to run these batteries out too quick. Yeah. That'll last for a long time. Yeah, guys, it is daytime too, but the lights are fairly bright. I'm excited to see what they look like at night. And it does look like it's more of an angled light. So it looks like it is kind of like a circular shape based upon this lens here. So it'll really give you that direct map light. I actually missed them. My wife loved them. We had them on the Ram 1500s that I used to own, and they would perfectly aim right at the cup holders here. So like it was nice at night. Yeah, really, really cool. I like this one. I like this is probably one of my favorites out of this whole thing. On today's viewer rig of the video, we are checking out Corey's 2022 Jeep Wrangler Sahara in the Eco Diesel. He has it nicknamed Renegade, and on this Jeep, he's got a very nice setup, of course, with some of our sponsors, which is great. He's got an inch and a half Clayton Overland Plus lift kit partnered up with a set of the Falcon 3.3 piggyback shocks. Falcon steering stabilizer to help kind of link up that front end. And then he also decided to add the Curry Link heavy duty steering. So brand new tie rod and a drag link. To ride on this Jeep, he's got a set of 33 inch Mickey Thompson Baja Boss AT tires. I have the MT version and a set of the Method 703 wheels. OEM Mopar LEDs, LED taillights, and then some Mopar seven inch off-road lights, which are very, very well made. He does have an Oracle skid plate light bar with the amber lights, which is what you're seeing down below, and the Jeep Performance wipers. He actually says he likes them more compared to the stock ones. Maybe some other opinions on those, but they are really neat if you are able to use them. So very nice Jeep here, Corey. Thank you so much for submitting it. It looks like it is in the, it looks like it's in the granite crystal metallic, which I absolutely love that color and pretty rare as you don't see too many of the Saharas with a diesel. If you guys want to submit your rig and have it featured on the channel, be sure to reach out through Instagram or send us an email. All right, guys, well, that's going to be a wrap on this video today. I wanted to give a huge thanks over to Azudo. They really hooked us up with these parts, and honestly, we enjoyed installing them. All of them fit and look great inside the Jeep, and I'm not just saying that. Once again, we picked up the first cup holder with our own cash, love the quality, love the product, and we figured the rest of their products were going to be exactly the same, and I would dare to say that they're even nicer. So I didn't know it was going to be that hard to beat, that high quality of the cup holder, but the back mods to the hard top, the map light, even the cup holders that we got. Everything looks fantastic on the Jeep here, and I'm proud to have it on the back here. I think it is a great value for the money, and honestly, it's a great company to work with, especially when they're calling, they're FaceTiming me and working with us here at Dirt Road Cred. They obviously know the value of their product, and we do as well, because we wouldn't show it on camera if we didn't believe in it. Be sure to click in the link in the description. We'll put them all down there below. And once again, thank you to Azudo for sending them all over to us. The next thing I wanted to bring up is that the hats are now live, and they're available on the website. So you guys have been asking about them. We had a huge new merch drop where we actually got these nice like fishing shirts. Everything is embroidered now. So we have a local company that does it and they do upscale and very large businesses to the names of Hershey Park, Trogues Brewing. They do all of their merch and a lot of their materials. So when we picked them to do ours, we knew it was gonna be great quality. These are like fishing shirts and outdoors. So they're very breathable and good for us in the weather. But let us know what else you wanna see on the website for sale. Winter is coming soon, fall is coming soon. Let us know what merch you wanna check out. But hats are live and we are shipping them out. So be sure to check those out as well. We're excited to start the build on Ryan's Jeep. It's parked out front now. We've already got a ton of great vendors and our partners sending us a boatload of products. So I think our kind of house and garage here is going to be full of parts for that Jeep, but we're super excited to follow that build. And it seems like you guys are too. Now, until next time though, my name is Matt with Dirt Road Cred, and I want you to get out there and earn yours.